Welcome to 7th edition of JLU International Festival of Media, hosted and curated by Faculty of Journalism and Creative Studies, Jagran Lake City University. I am Garima Mitwani in conversation with Mrs. Sonal Kalra, who is an Indian journalist author currently working with the Hindustan Times. We welcome you to Lake City Live, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, Garima. Lovely to be here. Ma'am, has ma'am is the winner of the most prestigious award for journalism in India, the Ramnath Goenka Award. Ma'am is also an author for three books that tell us how to tackle everyday stress in life. Ma'am, my first question to you is, how has been your journey, and you know what, what did were the things that made you realize that this field is your field of interest? Well. to be very honest i didn't uh, uh, you know i hadn't planned on what my career journey is going to be uh, but i always had an interest in writing even as a school student i used to be the editor of my school magazine in college i used to be the editor of my college magazine but i was very poised uh, as a science student to go into the field of science and journalism was nowhere in the picture till one point where um, you know i started thinking about what is it that 10 years down the line i want to become in life and i could somehow see writing coming back and back into my mind uh that was the time when by fluke i actually ended up giving lift to one of the students who was going to this institute called the indian institute of mass communications in delhi and i started asking her on the way about what this institute is all about and when i dropped her there i asked her if i could come inside and also apply for uh, giving that entrance exam and in a slightly condescending way she told me that no i've been preparing for it for 6 months you think without any preparation you'd be able to clear such an exam it's 20 students get it um, and 20000 give the entrance so i think there was some inherent challenge in what she said and that just made me go inside and it i was determined to just crack the exam i ended up um, i topped the entrance and i did well in the interview and that's how i got into imc and uh, after that uh, it was destiny and now it's been my 27th year in journalism i'm very happy that is so inspiring ma'am my next question to you is as already mentioned that you've written three three books being a journalist and that tells us how to uh, tackle everyday stress so what inspired you to write these no books you know again i i think you'd find my answers really weird but again chance inspired me because um, i was working in hindustan times and i was the page editor of the health page um, which was supposed to carry a column by a health expert on mindfulness and calmness and that person missed their deadline and did not send the column and my editor got really upset with me saying that it was your job to get that person to write and file on time now if you can't get that person you write it and that's how i ended up writing a column and typically on a column we would get two or three or four mails in a week but that first column of mine got me 200 mails and i just realized that this is something that i want to do and then my editor insisted that i continue with it and then i wrote a kama you for 13 years and it became the most widely read column in uh, in ht and in print features for many many years and since it became a popular column the publishers approached me and then it got converted into books and that's how a kama you more of a kama you and some more of a kama you was born it was a really insightful answer ma'am ma'am in this technology driven world where innovations and inventions are making the life of people easier and it's very easy to adapt to the new inventions so do you think that invention of ai will decrease the human interference in the upcoming future see ai is coming whether we like it or not so it's best to sort of look at it as an opportunity rather than as a challenge and i do think that ai will benefit and help the human beings in sort of data mining which is a very mundane task and they'd be able to make good use of ai and sort of add to their repertoire rather than feeling threatened by ai so i'd like to think of it as a boon and not a bane Ma'am, thank you for giving me the new perspective on AI. So, uh, my last question to you would be: any advice that you would like to give to the budding journalists like me and many others? You know, I I just feel that just adding years to your life does not make you equipped to give advice to uh, to younger people, especially because I see the younger generation being extremely intelligent. People like you are very. um you know knowledgeable you consume a lot more information than we used to consume only because the platforms of information were limited at the time so i'd only say that um, since you're 
you could fall prey to getting an information overload my advice to all young people and especially budding journalists is to get the knack of sifting through what information would help you have a keen eye to figure out how that information is going to help you and not overwhelm you keep watching lake city live thank you